Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. As tempted as, as I am to leave Malice for the last, because you know it is the last Colossus and all, it just pales in comparison to the difficulty that is Gaius number three on hard mode. So yeah, I've decided to leave the hardest for last, because that's traditionally what I do in my walkthroughs anyway. Think like well, actually, I don't want to spoil stuff for other walkthroughs, but, like, the end of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, let's put it that way. Alright, so here we are. Big Bad Final Brutes of Doom. Um, it's possible to actually just run all the way up to them, like, straight on, by doing a very specific series of dodges and movements to get by its explosive shooting properties, but... I don't really get how to do that right now. <laughs> I really don't know how to get do that right now. So, I'm just doing it the normal way. There's enough time to do so, and I've got a, a alternate strategy to do this a little bit quicker when you get to the uh, actual hitting portion of it. You know, when you're actually able to hit his head and whatnot. It's still slightly risky to do once you get up there, but it's still... A lot better and a lot fast. I should say a lot faster to do than what I was doing in the main walkthrough parts, but it's riskier. <laughs> but what isn't riskier in time attack mode when you're trying to beat the clock after all? So yeah, all I'm doing is the same old routine on how to get through here, uh, but keep in mind that its shots will uh, do quite a bit more damage than they did in normal mode, so uh, you can't really afford to take hits like you can in normal mode. Just saying. <laughs> and whoop. By the way, it always seems like you tip off, like you fall off the edge there no matter what you do. Like when you jump across there, it always seems like he hits, he jumps and stands on the edge for a bit, then falls right off. And I, I, it seems to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera, please. It seems to be scripted. Uh, of sorts for that sort of action to happen because I can't seem to do it any other way than that uh, Like I can't alter my jump to do anything and this is kind of weird. I'm going to show you this right now uh, Watch this you can actually get him to grab slightly off at, a, at an angle like that uh, Inside the wall. I think there's like an alternate series of grabby angles that are inside the wall that you can't actually see which is what allows him to do it at that angle Okay, now this one this one is probably the uh the most tricky one here. Gotta get him to shoot two in a row to be able to do this run nice and smooth. Like, yeah, like two hitting into the blocks, oh, just like that. There we go. And then, oh no 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 no! Oh shoot! <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> Come on, get off it! Get off it! Get off it! <laughs> okay, and I was able to swing the camera around while I was at it too. Uh, yeah, this is a tricky portion, the trickiest portion, in fact, when it comes to Malice. I'm gonna sneak through here! Oh, that... that failed. <laughs> I should probably retry that, but yeah, that's probably the hardest portion of this whole thing, because the rest is... It, it, it plays out pretty much exactly as it did in normal mode. Uh, in fact, well, actually, everything plays out the same as it does in normal mode, except you take more damage. <laughs> That's that's the key here. Got to reduce your damage, I guess. <laughs> and also taking too much time is also another factor you don't want to happen. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just getting to him really. That's the the biggest issue, but once you get there, it's pretty difficult to actually fall off. Uh, even using the riskier yet speedier strategy I'm going to use to actually hit his weak point. So, well, but I'll, I'll get into that when I actually get there. <laughs> and zoop! <laughs> and in I go! Woo. I should actually be aiming for those blocks so I don't take damage when I fall and save myself a little bit of time, but it doesn't matter that much because you got extra time in hard mode in comparison to normal mode um, for the time attack because it's got more health, basically. It's not any more aggressive in its shooting than before, it just does more damage and has more health. But, providing that you have the routine for the first person, I mean the fir first person, first part down, 
you shouldn't have all that much difficulty with the rest, but, uh, whoa, 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 I did not, gotta go, there we go, yeah, you gotta have them hanging off the edge slightly, and there's that, that scripted thing that always seems to happen no matter what, <laughs> I don't know why, but it does, and he always seems to shoot when you get all past that corner too as well, but he never really was able to hit you, just another thing that I noticed that, a lot of this battle is actually pretty scripted, <laughs> Like, it's probably one of the most predictable ones out of all the Colossus out there. Uh, as a result of all the script scriptedness. Okay, going up. Yeah, I'm surprised that blast didn't hit me back, but I guess it didn't hit me directly. Okay, alright. What should I do now? Uh, you gonna double shoot? You gonna double shoot? I need you to double shoot in order for me to have the... The best chance at getting across here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, double shoot, please. The, what I'm what I'm saying when I mean double shoot is that he shoots twice at me while I'm behind this. Like normally he only shoots one when I expose myself, but when he does the second one, he has this delay that allows me to run right through it. There we go, just like that. Whoa, jeez, that's that could be bad. Um. Um, <laughs> I need to get in that hole. Yo, <laughs> I used the pillar to block the shot. Okay, so I don't really care about the damage that much. It didn't burn that much time. They give you a good amount of time uh, to get up there anyway. Now, um, for getting up to its torso type area, uh, there's a lot of ways to do it. And what I like to do is to go go over to the front and then start climbing up that way uh, because it's just close to the area where I need to go because that's the only place to actually get up to the torso area so I just go around in either direction just make the jumps thusly and I'm just gonna go all the way around like so and actually oh that's too far actually <laughs> can't get that I forgot about that that's okay though. that's okay I can I can afford the burn a little bit of time not much, though. Well, okay, there's actually a, a decent amount of leniency here. It's not like Gaius in the slightest. <laughs> uh, yeah, this should be an okay spot to start climbing up. I'm not a, I think I'm a little bit off-center from where the center of its belly is, but uh, I'll, be, I'll be able to work with it here. By the way, do not try and get up from the lower ledge on this platform that I'm on, like the one directly that I'm directly below that I'm hanging on. For some reason, he will not be able to climb up from there because of this the swaying that's going on in the body. So, whoa! No, 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 <laughs> no. That was weird. That was weird, but at least I didn't fall horrendously down. Okay, going up. Uppy and up. And this is a spot that I'm aiming for to get up on. See this hole right here? Yeah, the rest of the other spots there are all guarded. So there really isn't any other way to get up other than over here and then loop around. And yeah. So you gotta go up here and then go around the body. It's like this pretty much any time. I don't know if there's a faster way to do it, but that's the way that I do it, the path that I take basically, and yeah. Okay, so stab its back, as you've seen, then its hand that plops out over here. Just wait for it to come back in. And there we go, and grab on. And get ready to get on the back of the hand, because it's a little bit faster to run up the arm this way. There we go. And get on here, and stab quickly. <laughs> this is part of the riskier strategy that I was talking about here. <laughs> but it's kind of got to be done on the ye old time attack and uh, if you want to speed this along to stab his hand uh, when you get up to the side and then it'll stop turning it around as wildly as he is right now <laughs> you'll eventually be able to there you go just like that switch to the bow shoot the shoulder and get back to the sword really quick and now, this is another part of my alternate strategy for more speed, is to wait for him to move his hand away, and then start stabbing at the shoulder so he moves his hand back over there. Now, the idea behind this is that because he's holding his shoulder, I'm able to get a couple free shots on his head. 
but this is not really a guaranteed thing because he doesn't really react all the time the same way. But you know, RNG and all. <laughs> it's it's RNG o'clock as usual. Uh, yeah, like this this time I'm not gonna be able to get that much that many hits off him because he already started the shaking process. Uh, maybe I'd be able to get a little nick here and there, but I'll, I'll probably be better off going over to his shoulder and then repeating this cycle here, uh, just as long as I don't fall off, because there there's not really much to grip on over on the shoulder side, uh, you know, with all those plates and whatnot. So if you fall off uh, from all the way up here, you might as well restart, because you prob Whoa! probably will have not have enough time to be able to make it up there. And it still gotta get the shoulder. There we go. I'm looking for that moaning, groaning scream of sorts that's like, I've been poked. Because <laughs> that's that's the key to getting the spots with the ah with the arm in place and to give me enough time to get up here and get a good stab on his head. Ah! Yes. Sometimes you can get a couple good stabs in a row, other times not really. <laughs> it's, it's all the RNG. Oh, no, not gonna get a stab this time, because he started shaking early, no! Uh-huh. Mm, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! ah thought I could have gotten a hit off there. Nah, I probably am better off just keep going back and forth in the, to the shoulder and the head. Mm, rather than trying to nick off a little damage at a time up here. Ugh. Although I, I could potentially get by just doing little nicks as long as he doesn't move too much between nicks. <laughs> but that's the key to malice, I guess. Oh, jeez. That's the key to malice, I guess, is uh, hoping that you get the right RNG. <laughs> I'm trying to get back to the shoulder, by the way. And, okay, you calm down. That means I'll be able to run down here. And I also can recover stamina on the shoulder rather easily, by the way. Uh, because, yeah, you see, he covers pretty quick hanging out there when he's not grabbing onto anything because the sur surface is nice and stable. See, look at it going up. Look at it going up. <laughs> but, you know, when he shakes again, then, and then the stamina reduces. But you can always gain more than you lose per cycle. Okay. And... I'm too far away from the edge to be ideally... Oh, that was okay, I guess. Okay, get a good stab while I'm up here! See, you can get a really good stab when uh, when you distract them with that shoulder strategy, but it's the thing of that you gotta go back and forth between the head and the shoulder quite often to do this. And that's the risky part, because it's pretty easy to fall from that area when you're transitioning, uh, especially if you don't uh, watch your stamina. So, yeah. <laughs> Once you're up here, the real battle begins, I guess you could say. Because uh, it's it's, uh, it's kind of an uphill battle to get, get him to do what you want him to do at the times you want him to do it. <laughs> and it's a little stabby stab. Little stabby stab. Boop! There we go. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm trying to hit that weak point to be able to uh, get him to actually move his hand over there like I did when I shot his shoulder. Um, when I was on the back of his other hand. That's the whole idea here, is to give myself as much time to charge up a good sword strike as possible. And... Uh, 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 not cooperating here. <laughs> Come on, cooperate, guy. I, I, I freaking malice. Get, get, guy, guy, please stop. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm probably just better off going shoulder head, shoulder head, shoulder head. Uh, just for each cycle, and then, yeah, I can I can see this definitely being the most reliable strategy. Yeah, and here we go, hits. Yeah, see that it's so much better that way to guarantee my hits. But you know the time's a waste in here. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on, let me up, let me up, I need to get back to the shoulder. <laughs> That's another thing, he sometimes is uh, uncooperative in that regard. Wait a second, he's pausing. Ah! <laughs> yeah, look for opportunities wherever you can as well, to be able to do some strikes. Uh, I think he's gonna, yeah, he's pausing again. Mm! Oh, I missed! I missed this, this weak point, I was a little too high. 
Arg, arg, I say. <laughs> I'm on it right now. Oh shoot! So close, so close. Ah, maybe he's weakening. That's why he's giving me more opportunities. No, nah, it's RNG. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on, stop, stop shaking. Stop the shaking procedure here. Nah, the shaking is unnecessary. You, you and I both know how this is gonna end. <laughs> it's, it has to end with your downfall. In fact. Okay, I'm getting off, going to the shoulder. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no, wrong area, wrong area. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's that's why this strategy is a little riskier, because it's rather easy to fall off um, when you're getting off its head like that, because there's nothing to grab onto on the shoulder area type places. So, yeah. All I need is one more good stab, though. So I'm just going to milk this for all it's worth, recovery-wise and setup-wise here. And uh, it will be over! Okay... Boop! There we go! And upsy-daisy! And on we go! Get that stab going! And I win! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, see this is... This is nothing compared to Gaius. <laughs> In fact, it's easier than... Um, uh, number four, Phaedra, you know... Uh, the deer-like colossus, the one that I kept having issues on as well, because of the shaking issues, and yeah. Ah, yeah, so this one's over with. That makes me happy. Next time, I guess I'll finally have to get over to Gaius. Oh, boy. <laughs> that should be something. And I'll probably also... Um, show you all the items that you can get in the normal mode time attack as well because I got them all unlocked off camera uh, over at the pond waiting to be collected and whatnot and for showing but for now I'm gonna end off the part here <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part when yeah <sighs> god no